Hi guys, hope you're all well. My name's Esther and today I'm going to focus on how to upload a still image onto your title page. A few people have been asking me how, you know, how that's done and most of the time it's the simple things that, you know, quite, that challenge us when it comes to editing. So that's what we're going to focus on today. So what you do first is you make sure that you create your bean folders as you can see here if you go on the project so, yep so as you can see here I've got the footage folder and I've got the music folder and I've got the image folder yeah so what you need to do next is click on the folder that you want to upload the image in for example here I've got the image folder and then you import the image from the pictures folder so you go import into the pictures folder port it onto your timeline and you can get started that way it helps you organize your work really well and it helps you know where everything is and then go to the typing tool which is here and you basically just draw um, a little box um, depending on how long you want your text to be and then afterwards as you can see here my text is already there and you can change it you can change colors as well um, for example here you, you got like a variety of choices you can change the font yep you can change the font there you go right here and yeah, you can change if you want it bold or you know normal and the color as well for example mine was white before but obviously it could not be seen so i had to change it to black but yes you can just click here and the choices will come and then you just choose which one that you want to use what color you want to use so yes that's that and then afterwards you can go on the select tool and just move the text around how wherever you want it to be basically or where it can be seen and that's that so afterwards i'm just gonna play it back so that you know you guys can see that's it but make sure that you render especially if you're using um adobe premiere make sure that you render and save your work because if you don't you might lose it and that is really annoying it's so annoying so yes you can render in oh yep sorry render in to out yeah and everything will be rendered and then save your work so yes after rendering and saving making sure that it's all green the line at the timeline is all green so i'm just gonna enlarge it and play it back so that you guys can see what i've done so far all right the next part of this clip will be how to upload a thumbnail onto the footage for example like here you can see just a minute you can see the sunflower here that's going to be our thumbnail for this footage so yes what you have to do is go on, on on the internet and just download an image that has no background make sure it hasn't got a background because some of them when you type it in like for example this one you can't really use this one because you see the white background but when you search for the ones that haven't got a background like for example this one that'll be easy for you to use so yes after that you save the image onto your onto your laptop or computer or whatever and then you import it so by doing that import and then you know you save it into any in the bin folder that you you want to save it into and then drag it onto the timeline and place it where you want it to be on the timeline 
after that you drag it because this one is um it's, it was really small so what i had to do was just drag it all over the whole video so that it covers the whole video because i wanted to be right there at the center of the video so yes after doing that um it's nice and saved and you can actually change for example here in the effects control you can change the scale of how you want it to be how big you want it to be for example like that you can make it big or small that is entirely up to you and the position as well like where you want it to be placed this one here you have to click it so that it's shown that's so that it shows and this one you have to click it so that it shows in the timeline or the footage guys please remember to subscribe like share and also check out my instagram page which is esther's edits thank you